guys, in this video I would like to show you a signal strength to binary converter that I've just built. This thing basically takes an input in the form of signal strength and allows you to convert this input to a binary signal, a 4-bit binary output actually. And um, I'll explain to you how exactly this does it later, I'll just show you how it works now. Uh, so obviously this is 15 since it's closest to this comparator. So we'll start off with 1. As you can see, it turns on the last repeater, which is the least significant bit. So this stands for 1. If we turn on 2, you can see we've got the, th the, the second to last repeater on. 3, both of them. 4, second repeater is on. 5, and so on. Um, it's just, mm, what number are we going to do? 15, 14, 13. Let's do 13. Obviously this is 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Let's do 15. Works flawlessly. What else can we do? Let's do this. So this is 9, 10, so as you can see this works pretty flawlessly, there's no bugs in there and it's also purely repeater based so it cannot burn out. It relies on using uh, item hoppers in order to get signals of specific strength and that's what I've used here. This here gives us an output of 8 uh, which will be very important in my explanation as well as in the function of this thing. Uh, but yeah, so the way this works is actually pretty simple. It's purely, it's uh, completely modular, as you can see. So if there's any signal strengths that are greater than 15 that we just haven't discovered yet, uh, it could handle them if we just built another one of these units there. Um, okay, so let's just take a look at how this works. So we take the signal from here. It's just here. The comparator is just here to extend it. It goes into this torch, which um, has a. Well, it goes into this comparator, which has a comparator leading into its side, with an, an item strength or a signal strength of eight. So that means that this signal here will only be allowed to pass through this comparator if its signal strength is eight or more. So, if this is more than eight, it goes to this torch, turns it off. Uh, I'll get to that later. But more importantly, it turns on this repeater, which means that the signal is stronger than 8, and therefore the uh, most significant bit, or the 8 bit, is on. Uh, then this torch leads over there, uh, over to this thing, which turns off this comparator. Uh, this is important, because this comparator subtracts 8 from this comparator if the signal is less than 8. Um, this is actually really important because if it's less than 8 then the signal has to be fed to the next comparator so it basically to the next unit so it basically gets shifted over if the signal doesn't suffice the units you know the units signal strength uh, so this goes all the way it's essentially the same thing in all four of them except that in the last one it's missing the part where it turns off the signal here because it's not necessary anymore. But yeah, that's essentially how it works. It could be compacted down by, sorry, it could be compacted down by, you know, stacking it and not having it like this, like stacking it upwards. But, you know, I'm fine with this. If it's worth anything, then people will sure go ahead and improve it. So this is just my basic idea. If you want to build it, here's a shot of it, like where you can, standing still, so you can see it. Uh, yeah, I hope this is I hope you think this is interesting I hope there's any use for you uh, with this thing and yeah I'll see you next time